All right, here we are at the 11th hole. Mm -hmm. It's a par five, the road hole. And it's par four. Well, it'll play like a par five a lot of days in the summer, but it's it's just 470 yards. So four yards. and a half? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and so right behind us is the road bunker. There's obviously no road here, but the no. green is very, very similar to the road hole green. Yes. I mean, I, you know, I having caddied at St. Andrews for a couple of months, I'm pretty familiar with the dimensions of that hole. And it's it's only about 45 or 50 feet from the road bunker to the other side of the green where it, where the bank goes down to the road. And we pretty much copied that dimension here. I think we made it three or four feet wider, but um, that's the hard part of the hole is just how narrow that is. And it's at an angle to the fairway. So you really, you know, when the pin is left of center in the green, you're really flirting with trouble to go for it. If you take enough club to get to the hole and you wimp out it all to the right, it goes through the green and onto the road. Because the angle of the green, obviously, it's shallower to the right and deeper right. to the left, correct? Right. And, you know, here, you're not on a road. You just go down a grass bank and, you know, you can, we kept that all really tight grass so you can put it back up from there. Kind of found our balls in the collection area here. The uh, safest way to probably get our, our balls on is, is, is to keep the ball along the ground and, and putt it. So most golfers kind of have that first urge of pulling out a sand wedge, and that's just going to get you in more trouble because we've got the bunker back on the other side. I want to keep that out of play, so I'm going to take my putter and just treat this like a little bit longer of a putt. and roll it up the slope. There are a bunch of versions of the road hall green in the States. And the part that nobody ever tried to copy very much, which I think is one of the coolest features of the hole, is this part of the green we're standing in, this little ridge and valley and ridge that sort of feeds stuff into the bunker. Because if you're, you know, when the pin's there and you're 180 yards back in the fairway trying to hit a long shot back in here, the green's so skinny, you can't fly it on the green. If you fly it on the green, it's probably going in the road. So you've got to land the ball short of the plateau and let it run up. And this little ridge, you know, plays all kinds of havoc with that, where that ball lands and runs up. If you hit it just a little too far to the left, it might kick off this and wind up in the bunker. And then, you know, worst of all, if you've left it 20 yards short with the bunker in your way or close to in your way, You've got all this contour to deal with. You could try to use the contour to actually kind of putt it up around the bunker a little bit. But if you do that wrong, you'll putt it into the bunker, which Tommy Nakajima did in the open in 78. You know, he's laying here in two, putted into the bunker and made eight. <laughs> in contention. <laughs> yes, in, yeah, in contention for the tournament. <laughs> More pain, it wasn't on Thursday. <laughs> it's hard to replicate something exactly, even if you want to. Like, for example, you know, this green could be pretty dead on relative to the depth coming off the left side here and how deep this bunker is and how much, you know, how far it drops down to the, the back side where the road would be. And yet, because you're not coming into the hole going downhill as much as you are at St. Andrews. The wedge shots here are very tricky. I mean, it's you don't really, you know, you don't want to put the ball up in the air because the wind affects it so much and you can't hit those shots downwind because the ball just doesn't stop. Um, and it's a really tight lie. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to feel confident hitting the pitch off there. So, you know, I keep a, a putter in my hands around the greens here just as much as I possibly can. But, you know, sometimes you got a bunker like that in the way and you just can't do it. <laughs> you can't putt out of there? I guess you can't backwards hard, Well, and you right? can't putt, you know, if you leave it over there and the pin's right there, you know, I, honestly, I'm more likely to putt up here and, you know, just deliberately play 20 feet from the hole than trying to hit a little wedge over that bunker and stop it there.